Greetings, my friends. Please consider supporting me in my war to save pop culture by subscribing to my channel and possibly even becoming a channel member for exclusive videos, access to Doomcock emojis, and more. And if you like this video in particular, please consider using the new Super Thanks feature and putting a tip in the tip jar located next to the like buttons down at the bottom of the video. Thank you for watching, and now, on to the video. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and I have some frankly disgusting and outrageous news regarding rumored future plans for the return of Chris Evans as Captain America. Now, as Marvel fans will no doubt recall, they gave Captain America a definite ending in Avengers Endgame, with Chris Evans going back into a parallel timeline and fulfilling at last, after a lifetime of patriotism and service, his desire to have a little joy and love in his own life by writing history and spending the rest of his days with Peggy Carter, dancing to It's Been a Long, Long Time. Well, let me tell you what has also been true for a long, long time. Captain America was American. He was a symbol for America. He was America's superhero, the Patriot's Patriot, a man of heroism and honor that inspired real-life honorable heroes in World War II when the forces of fascism threatened to erase freedom from the globe. America was in his name. His costume was patterned after Old Glory, the red, white, and blue. He was an American who wanted to do everything he could to serve his country in its time of greatest need, and he volunteered to risk his life in a noble experiment. Steve Rogers was given a special serum to turn him from a physically weak but morally mighty army reject into a super soldier, one strong enough to carry the standard against Germany and Italy and Japan and inspire Americans to win the day on the field of battle. Captain America is, was, and always will be a symbol of American pride, and as a patriot myself, I see nothing wrong with that. I have a hardbound slipcase collection of the earliest adventures of Captain America, a character created by Joe Simon and the great Jack King Kirby, all the way back in World War II. And so when I heard what Marvel was planning regarding this American icon, it made my blood boil. See, I'm not the kind of guy who is ashamed of getting choked up when I hear the Star Spangled Banner played on holidays and at sporting events. I don't think it's corny or trite to doff my cap to the stars and stripes. I think it's not only appropriate, but necessary to remember those who sacrificed to safeguard the freedoms that Americans take for granted these days. And I have no patience for those who want to denigrate or undermine the United States of America, whether those persons are foreign or domestic. But frankly, at this point, that's what it seems Marvel is about to do, according to the new rumor I'm about to share with you. I have little care or interest in patriotism. However, it's clear that among the woke there is often an antagonism toward America, and patriotism is often frowned upon by those whiny woke wankers who love blaming the evils of the world on the United States. It irks me, frankly, as I have done the very best I can all my life to have the evils of the world blamed on me ungrateful pricks. Being an eldritch god, I am beyond good or evil, Doomcock. I am not looking to destroy your universe because I'm evil. I just want to destroy your universe because I'm a dick. But I'm not so much of a dick as to corrupt, distort, and pervert pop culture into something it isn't. If you want to destroy stuff, then fine, grow 30 stories and stomp on it. But don't be a namby-pamby snowflake piece of shit and take the America out of Captain America. But lo, before we continue, pray tell us what this rumor is, for fuck's sake. Who knows, it may not be as bad as all that. Oh, it's bad, Skull of Calderon. It's about as bad as it gets. Because the proposed new movie coming out of Marvel is meant to rewire Captain America's DNA, if this rumor is correct, turning him into something, well, less American. Now, before we proceed, 
I want to make it clear that this rumor comes from my friend WDW Pro over at thatparkplace.com, and their track record is extremely good. I recommend you check them out, and there will be more about this rumor over there probably by the time you've watched this. But of course, that said, though I have faith in these good folks, since I cannot personally verify this information, I am presenting it as rumor, and I ask you to please take it with a grain of salt. Here's what my friend had to tell me in a communication that was relayed to me this last Saturday. Quote, Several months ago, a source shared with me that Marvel was potentially looking to do a new Captain America show or movie that would see both Anthony Mackie and Chris Evans somehow sharing the Captain America mantle. I was told that the reason for doing so was because some at Marvel were concerned that Captain America was being used by conservatives and MAGA types as a pro-nationalist superhero icon. Essentially, Marvel wants to keep the uber-popular Captain America brand, but they want to strip it of the nationalist and conservative connotation that they feel it has. Reportedly, Kevin Feige was open to doing a project in which both versions of Captain America would come together somehow to repudiate the negative aspects of America while still finding a cause to believe in. Whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, what the fuck? Repudiate the negative aspects of America? What the hell does that even mean? What it means, Harvey, is that Kevin Feige, Chris Evans, and others at Marvel and Disney feel like many of the aforementioned woke wankers, that America needs to be changed. And so they are looking to change Captain America, reshape him into a political tool of propaganda to further their own political aims. Now, as the future ruler of Earth, Doomcock does not get involved in petty political squabbles. I hate both parties and all candidates equally because only Doomcock is fit to rule the Earth and that includes the USA. So I have no comment on politics in particular on this channel, but I do stand against wokeness, against SJW overreach and cultural vandalism of our treasured modern myths, and this certainly qualifies. I ask all of my viewers, are you okay with them perverting the most fundamental characteristic of Captain America, namely that he's American for the sake of their own political agenda? Doomcock is not. Doomcock doesn't care what political factions are claiming Captain America as their own. No one can stop that. But the fact of the matter is that Captain America belongs to all Americans. And despite being patriotic, he does not belong to one side or the other. If anything, Captain America represents the American ideal of democracy, and thus he is a hero to all Americans. <laughs> But that's not good enough for Marvel, no. Is the solution to make him less American, less identified with America? Fuck no. And yet this is what is being proposed. Here's the thing, folks. Corporations and creators cannot worry about whether or not groups they personally disagree with are using their characters in ways they never intended. That will happen, because pop culture belongs to all of us. And so, MAGA Republicans can claim Captain America at the same time that the wokest woke pieces of snowflake bullshit could claim Captain America if they had a shred of patriotism in their character. Or any character at all, for that matter. The point being, what matters is not what the audience does with a character, but rather how the creators treat their characters. And changing a character into something he never was is a stupid and futile gesture that isn't going to stop groups from using that character as they see fit, but it will alienate fans of that character. You change Captain America to make him less American, you stupid assholes, fans will not come along for the woke ride. <laughs> but as bad as all this is, it gets worse. Wait, let me get this straight. They're looking to bring back Chris Evans as Captain America, but they're also looking to have Anthony Mackie as Captain America as well? What the fuck? Is Cap gonna be in a wheelchair or a stroller or something? It is my belief and analysis that they will be using the get out of free jail card called the multiverse to make this happen. Chris Evans will be back as Cap, joining Anthony Mackie's Falcon Cap too, I guess, 
Make Captain America a globalist or some shit. A champion of the planet, Captain Planet or something. Note, they say, they want to strip Captain America of any nationalist implications. Well, the only way you can do that is to water down what? His association with America! According to WDW Pro, and this is gonna piss you people off, so get ready. Quote, Coming now from a third source, apparently Chris Evans is keen to work on such a project as he loathes the portrayal of Captain America as an America First superhero, unquote. I repeat, Chris Evans is keen to work on such a project as he loathes the portrayal of Captain America as an America First superhero. Chris Evans loathes Captain America. Apparently. Chris Evans feels that Captain America should not be concerned with America first, but should rather dedicate himself to a globalist agenda? It would appear so. Bloody hell! You better push the button and let me out of my containment field to destroy the Earth, because if you wait much longer, there won't be anything left to destroy. The MCU is self-destructing, if this rumor is correct, collapsing under the weight of wokeness, propaganda, and political agendas. It's not enough for Feige to just tell good stories faithful to the source material we've loved for almost a hundred years at this point. Everything we loved and cared about has to be rewritten and vandalized because politics. Because agenda. Are they going to get away with this? My friends, never forget the motto I founded, without respect, we reject. For God's sake, can't we just leave Captain America alone? Who cares what side claims him? It doesn't matter. Captain America belongs to every American, every patriot. But if you change him so much, he becomes unrecognizable, he belongs to no one. Thanks to my friends at thatparkplace.com for this warning. And from the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha, ha, ha.